G'day gamers, Ranger Tony here, back with more of our Skyrim Anniversary Edition Arbalest playthrough. Last episode we got Ebony Smithing, we now have the Ebony Spell Knight Armor, a set that we made ourselves. We have the Enhanced Ebony Crossbow, which is doing insane amounts of damage, 352 damage, and ignoring 50% of armor. It's just unbelievable do i have any soul gems i don't i think i need to go upstairs and grab a soul gem to recharge my bow uh we're doing the dawn guard quest line uh we just got the second uh elder scroll that we needed uh let me grab say five of those that should be plenty to recharge over time wonderful yeah we just got a second elder scroll so we need to head back to Fort dawn guard um What am I carrying? Oh, the Elder Scrolls. That's right. I determined that at the end of the last episode. I don't need to be carrying a blacksmithing draft with me. So let's go and put that away. Uh, actually, put that in the sack there. Potions. Store that. And that will be good. I've got enough healing, I think, considering I almost never get hurt. When I do, I definitely need the healing. We put our keys away at the end of the last episode, so that is good. Right. What Dawn Guard it is. And he's blind. I trust your journey was successful. I'm sorry, my friend. I can no longer be of use in this matter. It's my fault. In my haste to read the first scroll, I neglected the careful preparation required. I thought I'd be able to allay the after effects, but I was wrong. Now I am paying for it. Blind? Yes, I'm afraid so. No, it will have to run its course, and there's always the chance I may never recover. No, there is another way. The question is, how much are you willing to risk to find Oriole's bow? I can't guarantee you'd be free from harm. Becoming blind could be the least of your worries. Scattered across Tamriel are secluded locations known only as Ancestor Glades, there's one in Skyrim, in the Pine Forest. Performing the ritual of the Ancestor Moth within the Glade should provide the answers you seek. It involves carefully removing the bark from a canticle tree, which will in turn attract Ancestor Moths to you. Once enough of the Moths are following, they'll provide you with the second sight needed to decipher the scrolls. In keeping with tradition, you must use a specific tool in the Ancestor Glade, an implement known as a draw knife. Every moth priest is taught this ritual, but few ever get the chance to perform it. You should consider yourself. From what I saw in the vision, the Elder Scroll which foreshadows the defiance of the gods with the blood of mortals is the key to the prophecy. Good luck. I hope you find the answers you seek. Find a moth priest's knife. Actually, it's a simple carpentry tool. 
the draw knife. Uh, yeah, where are we going? Here. You know what? Ancestor Glade. That seems to me like it is probably pretty damn close to where Angi is, who will give me my last few levels of um, of archery. dagger uh this was just the quickest way to where we wanted to go because if i go out the exit no actually go around this way i don't want to go out that exit there i want to go out the exit that's over there Anybody else? There's usually... Damn it, it was in there that I needed to go. That was the exit I was looking for. I don't know, it didn't seem right at the time. They're running really fast, somehow. We'll go through the house. All of this effort just to take this exit here. Because it feels like it's closer to where I need to go. I heard a spider though. Frankly, if I heard a spider, it would have attacked already. Let 
mean there isn't one around. I suppose. Maybe he just hasn't detected me yet. This is the spot that there is often a spider. That's the dead spider there, killed by... Is that a... It's just some wanderer. There we go, that's better. Missing a lot today. Admittedly, a lot of my opponents are jumping around all over the place, but still... He may not have been a bad guy. Um, but the way he was running at me...
60 gold, I guess I'll pick it up. Archery is at level 93. I think it's there's no better time. To go to Angie. I think that's her house there. I think I've gone up the wrong trail to get to her. Could be wrong though. Might be away this way. No, I doubt it. Bit of a switch back. Discovered. Oh, hang on. Let me just make sure there's nothing outside the glade here that I don't that I need to kill. Water search. Oh. I don't need an ice wolf pelt. Anything else here that's considered stolen? Let's head over this way, see if this leads over the mountains, potentially to Angie, and let's see if we can get these levels from her, and maybe, just maybe, get to level 100, or level 99, at least. Ooh, Moonstone. Yes, please. I mean, I'm not sure what I'm going to use it for, but... It's not a common ore, so let's... I don't think she'll let me do all of this with a crossbow. I am fairly sure we'll have to get these levels with a bow. Which might actually be interesting. Name's Anji. And if you try anything stupid, I won't hesitate to put an arrow... Sorry. Like I said, name's Anji, and I've been living out here for a couple of years. I set up those targets a long time ago. I shoot at them from time to time. Don't want to get rusty with my bow. That I am. You know how to use one? I'm gonna... S mm. I guess I can always reload a save. Well, let me know if you ever want to practice. If you need a bow, 
There's one on the rack to the left of the door. Let's see if I can teach you a few bow. she go? Oh, there she is. Looking to practice strength? Excellent. Follow me to the targets and we'll begin. My father was rarely home, so it was my mother who actually taught me how to use a bow. She always said composure was the key to a successful archer. If you can remain calm, even in the midst of chaos, your arrow will most likely find its target. Okay, let's see what you can do. Remember to stay within the boundaries and only use the practice arrows. I have some if you don't have any. Aim for the middle target. Right on target. Now hit the target to the left. Some more. Next time we'll make. I. Excellent. Follow me to the targets and we'll begin. My older brother took me out hunting a lot when I was little. At the time, it was difficult to keep food on the table, let alone have enough left over to sell at the market. So whenever we came across more than one deer in a single location, it was imperative we kill as many as we could. If you can learn to keep your composure and trust that each shot is true, then you should be able to quickly handle multiple targets. When I tell you to, try and hit each of the three closest targets in eight seconds. Here, take these. Looks like you're running low. I'll count to three and then say go. You have eight seconds to hit each of the three targets. Draw a string and get ready. One, two, three. Go! Hey, watch it! Time's up. Better luck next time. What do you mean better luck? Next time. Sure. Until next time. I'll count to three and then say go. You have eight seconds to hit each of the three targets. Draw a string and get ready. One, two, three. Go! Hey, watch it! You did it! All three targets in eight seconds. Nice job. Let me know if you want to practice some more. Next time we'll make it a little more challenging. Great job. Excellent. Follow me to the targets and we'll begin. We've talked about speed and composure. Now we'll go over precision. Oftentimes you won't be able to get as close to your prey as you'd like you'll have to settle with a long shot. However, with such a long shot, it 
It's more than likely that's the only shot you'll be able to take before your prey runs off. If you find yourself in such a situation, then you need to make your shot count. Don't rush your shot. Crouch down, get comfortable, and take aim. Okay, your turn. Try and hit the target way in the back, far behind the other three. Remember to take your time and make your shot count. <laughs> nice shot, right on target. Let me know if you want to practice some more. Next time we'll make it a little more challenging. Didn't even hear or see it hit. Need something? Excellent. Follow me to the targets and we'll begin. How are we doing? 98. I think this is the last one she'll do. Exposure, speed and precision. Now it's time to use all three at once. Go on. I'm warning you now. This challenge will be quite difficult. Just remember everything I've taught you and you should be able to complete it. It may take you a couple of tries, but that's what practice is all about. When I tell you to, try and hit all four targets in ten seconds. Do I have enough arrows for this? Here, take these. Looks like you're running low. I'll count to three and then say go. You have ten seconds to hit each of the four targets. Draw a string and get ready. One, two, three. Go! Hey, watch it! You did it! All four targets in ten seconds. Nice job. Yes? I think I've taught you everything I know. You might even be as good as me now. Kind of scary if I think about it. It was my pleasure. It's not often I get... Thanks for... It was nice to find... I know it isn't much, but here. Take this bow. It was given to me... I moved here from... At the time, I couldn't stand to be around. Don't be like them. Don't feel sorry. Two Imperial drunks who thought they were... A Already did. Part of the reason I'm living out here now. Uh. There we go, because I don't need those anymore. Um. Yeah, we'll just keep Angie's bow on us. No big deal. Level. 99 archery very exciting i have never gotten any skill this high before ever Dexian and I are going to have some words when we get back. Okay, I do have to go over the top. I do not recall if there are any hostiles in here, but better to be safe than sorry. It's the sort of place I feel like there's going to be spriggans.
beautiful. I mean like this. Give us a lot to go on, did he? Do you? And unless I'm seeing things, you're starting to... Better find where they're all swarm around. Some here. These different swarms over here or not? Doesn't feel like it. Let's head up the path. It's the most logical place they will be. Is it? I have done this mission before. I just don't really remember a lot about of this. Any more over here? Yeah. Into the column of light and read the Elder Scroll Blood. Thought I lost you there. You went as white as the snow. I could see it in your eyes. You looked about a thousand leagues away. What about Ariel's bow? Do you know where we can find it? Then it's almost over. We can finally put an end to this ridiculous prophecy. Where is this Darkfall cave? Then let's get going. 
I want to get there before my father has a chance to track us down. What the hell is going on? I'm missing with every goddamn shot by the set, by the feel of it. Where's the last one? Come on, show yourself. You coward, where are ya? Got a bolt with your name on it. Where's the gargoyle? Where's the... Where is the... There's a mage. There he is. Whatever other opponent was up here must have run off. Oh, no, they ran back down along the path. Good, no vampire issues there. Let's just grab that. So close to being level 100 archery. Right. Where are we going? Ariel's bow is up there. I'm not entirely sure the best way to get there. It feels like maybe Carthwaston. Or the Stormcloak camp there is a good starting point. And actually getting on the horse is probably a good idea. What wasn't clear was... If there is actually a path... We can follow the river most of the way. Well, that just might be convenient. Path on the other side of the river over there, so... We'll ignore little Mr. Crabby Boy there. And Mr. Crabby Boy there.
Where's me horse? Again, almost thought we had to kill another Orsworn, but no, it was just a brawl, whatever you want to call it. Oh, this is where we met. What's her face that time? And there's another orc stronghold nearby. So far, I remember nothing about this. Definitely could be a way out. Don't see any levers, chains, anything like that. Round. And the torch sconce is not a lever. So we'll keep that in mind. I thought this was another big Falma thing. What's that? Moon, more Moonstone ore. Where do we go from here? Must be over to the south.
Okay, I'm lost. What the hell are we supposed to do here? I think I found what we're supposed to do. I feel like I need to carry the torch so that A, I can see, and B, you all can see. But at the same time, it creates quite a hazard because if I do need to attack, it takes a little bit to get the bow out. Thankfully, we've got a few torches now. Well, archery's at level 100. How much damage am I doing with this bow now? 361. Very good. Uh, maybe I should have bought myself a um, candlelight spell. At some point. Might just take those torches. We may very well need them at some point. It feels like it should be a door too, but it might just be the texture. Up or down? Therein lies the conundrum. Let's go... Uh... What it feels like it needs us to go down, so we'll go up first. Because why not? And it's a dead end, is it? It's not a dead end.
Well, yes, it is. This is a dead end as well. All right. G'day, Havoc. How you doing? I grabbed that torch. Normally I try not to carry too many torches, but uh, sort of feels like we need them. That was annoying. I mean, I guess I should have expected that. The trap, but still. until so far this cave has been very devoid of life uh no i don't hear anything Not exactly an RO because when I actually hit them, you can die in a single shot, but. Traditionally, trolls are. A bothersome opponent. Ah, uh, that, that, yeah, that, and that. Do I really? Yeah, I'll take the cell gem. I can always sell it, I guess. Uh, yeah, we've got to get wet. Uh, so there ain't no other way to move forward. Is there anything else up here where the troll was? Well, we struck it rich. Rocks and dead trees. We shall never be wanting for anything again.
right here. Now we don't want to kill this guy. Come forward. You have nothing to fear here. I am Knight Paladin Gelibor. Welcome to the Great Chantry of Oriel. Oriel, Oriel, Alkosh, Akatosh, so many different names for the Sovereign of the Snow Elves. I prefer Snow Elf. The name Falmer usually holds a negative meaning to most travelers. Those twisted creatures you call Falmer, I call the Betrayed. Of course, you're here for Oriel's bow. Why else would you be here? I can help you get it, but first, I must have your assistance. Yeah, let me, let me think. You want us to kill your brother, Archie? Why? I need you to kill Archcurate Vertha, my brother. The kinship between us is gone. I don't understand what he's become, but he's no longer the brother I once knew. It was the betrayed. They did something to him. I just it's a vampire now. To happen. They swept into the Chantry without warning and began killing everyone without pause. The Chantry was a place of peaceful worship. I led a small group of paladins, but we were no match for the Betrayed's sheer numbers. They slaughtered everyone and stormed the inner sanctum where I believe they corrupted Vertha. He's alive. I've seen him, but something's wrong. He never looks as though he's in pain or under duress. He just stands there and watches, as though waiting. Leaving the Way Shrines unguarded would be violating my sacred duty as a Knight Paladin of Oriel, and an assault on the Betrayed guarding the Inner Sanctum would only end with my death. Yes, let me show you. Let me just... The Ori... The... The Blessing of Oriel makes 10% for 11 hours, 10% more effective with missile weapons. Oh, I did not know that. I am very grateful. While you're doing that, this is known as a way shrine. They were used for meditation and for transport when the Chantry was a place of enlightenment. Prelates of these shrines were charged with teaching the mantras of Oriel to our initiates. What's that basin in the center signify? Once the initiate completed his mantras, he'd dip a ceremonial ewer in the basin at the Way Shrine center and proceed to the next Way Shrine. So these initiates had to lug around a heavy pitcher of water. Marvelous. How long would they have to do that? Well, once the initiate's enlightenment was complete, he'd bring the ewer to the Chantry's inner sanctum. Pouring the contents of the ewer into the sacred basin of the sanctum would allow him to enter for an audience with the Archcurate himself. All that just to end up dumping it out? It makes no sense to me. It's symbolic. I don't expect you to understand. So, let's get this straight. We need to do all that nonsense to get into the temple so we can kill your brother and claim Ariel's bow. I know how it all sounds. But if there was another way, I'd have done it long ago. The only way to get to my brother is by following in the Initiate's footsteps and traveling from Way Shrine to Way Shrine, just as they did. The first lay at the end of Darkfall Passage, a cavern that represents the absence of enlightenment. There are five in total, spread far apart across the Chantry. Caves? Oh no! The Chantry encompasses far more than a few caves, as you'll soon discover. But before I send you on your way, You'll need the Initiate's Ewer. Once you've located a Way Shrine, there'll be a Spectral Prelate tending to it. They will allow you to draw the waters from the Shrine's Basin, as if you've been enlightened. This may be the last time we're able to converse. If you have any questions before you leave, I suggest you ask them. 
Otherwise, all I can do now is grant you my hopes for a safe journey. Something interesting here. So I guess that means... I'm not going to bother with questions. recognize that just a fraction too late not that it's a problem one shot still killed it i don't want any of that Okay, we definitely need to be sneaking a little bit now. Oh, where's your buddy? Oh, you might be up there somewhere. I don't know. You're right there. And more chorus. No, thank you. the trap we avoided just before that's good managed to destroy that this chorus nest before they launched they got out it's also good what have we got I should get the light out
Third one there. I'm not taking any chances. Anything that looks like it could be even vaguely a chorus cocoon nesty thing gets shot. thing is but it looks weird right. you oh you actually got out of there someone's shooting at me do not see them, however. I know it was showing up something else there. Somewhere. Oh well. I, mean, I know I checked that before, but I just wanted to double check it. Uh -huh, that was one. Very good. What about... Is that one there as well? No. It is not. Recharge the crossbow. It's getting exceedingly low. We'll do for now. It's in this one. Nothing, just a Falmer War Axe. Where'd you come from?
as soon as I'm no longer hidden, you immediately have to start looking. Once again, sort of feels like that is a doorway, but it's not. Don't want to take any chances. Oh, I wish there was more light in here. I don't like the look of this. That chest does look like a bit of a trap, doesn't it? Well, that's a trap, and that's a trap. So the trap, the chest is trapped. Oops. Nothing interesting there. Oh, but thanks for the follow. area seems like a massive trap.
potions. Is that Stalring? No. Or if it is, we can't do anything with it. No, Harvest, um, I'm not over on Solastein at the moment. I am doing the Dawn Guard quest line. So at the moment we're on the quest to get Oriole's bow. I've done it a couple of times before, <clears throat> excuse me, but I really don't remember it because it's been quite a while. Seems like it's always quite a while since I last did it. There's a level. More stamina. And we are going to put... The point into bullseye. So I that is the first skill I have ever gotten to a hundred in the game. And I do not understand the whole leg the whole legendary process, so I'm not going to do it. Oh look, the candlelight spell, exactly what I said earlier I probably should get. What have I got? Yeah, that can go on four. No, I'm not a vampire. Have sided with the Dawn Guard, not with the vampires.
all look super dangerous. Darkfall Passage Note 2. Strange why the curse have set up so many traps near this stone barrier. Going to rest for a bit, not take any chances. They set up those traps for a reason. I'm not about to go rushing in and find out why. Just going to sit here, regain some strength, and possibly try and use the traps to my advantage. Okay, that didn't work out all that well for him, did it? Oh, gee, that's great. Just push me right into the damn traps. Rope release, rope release. First one opens the door. I don't know what that was that I just killed, but the first one opens the door, the second one the track. Thanks for the follow, Havoc. I'm sorry, Harvest. I must have called you... Ha oh, no, there was a Havoc and there's a Harvest as well. A Veil Saber Cat. All right. Don't... I sort of recall it, but... Only partially. I think this is the way we need to go. That's poison. G'day, St. Salvius. Uh, does this go anywhere? It sort of does. But uh, not really. Because it just leads me back to the way I could have gone. I wanted to go the easy way. I don't know if that's the easy way down or if there's another way. This is not exactly easy here, but it's where we are, so. Over this way. I feel like this is the way we have to go. Get up there. There we go. And finally got to level 100. Thanks, Salvius. I went off and Got my levels from Angi or whatever her name is. Actually, while I'm here, uh, da, 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 skills. Get legendary skills.
Why would you go legendary when it resets your skill? Yeah, I was just reading what it does, and it's like... Why? I do that, and suddenly my bow doesn't do anywhere near as much damage. You know, and I lose all of the advantages I've currently got. It doesn't sound like a good idea at all. Can I get up here? I feel like I've got to come over this. Hey, D Bills, didn't see you there. Welcome and thank you. Keep away from the poison blooms. gift my child may it light your path as you seek tranquility within the inner sanctum Well, I mean, the the wiki that I'm reading, the way it words the whole legendary thing, it makes it sound like, well, the reason you want to do it is so that you can get to level 100 with that skill all over again. And look, maybe, maybe after I've finished some quests... I might consider resetting it and like, I don't know, but I mean, I understand the purpose because they say that the main, you know, the main reason is so that you can get past the level 81 level cap. Um, apparently you can get up to about level 250 something if you reset some skills otherwise you'll get you'll only ever get to about level 81 and that's fine uh can i get you from here you would turn the instant i go to shoot you you move okay very good Uh, yes, it is like a whole other world. Where are we? Now, oh, that's right. We're up over here. Head up this way. Because A, there was trolls here. B, I want to see about getting my bolts back because I only have 1900 of them. And three, there's some silver ore. Yeah, it definitely sounds like a lousy solution to the problem, Snake Beater. Um, 
I, I don't know. I, I don't... It, it, if I was doing it... I don't know. I don't know if I would ever actually use it now that I think about it. Um, part of me looks at it and goes, well... Part of me looks at it and goes, okay, there are certain situations in which it actually might be good. Um, you know, I haven't started the main quest line, right? So I could actually, like once I finish this Dawn Guard quest line, I could reset my archery skill and then start the main quest line. This must be that beautiful Skyrim weather I've always heard. And I probably wouldn't be too disadvantaged. I mean, sure, I feel like I'd be a little bit... What is making that noise? I don't know. I just don't know if I would really be disadvantaged or not. Um, I suppose I would be because... If there's any leveled opponents, my bow is suddenly going to do a lot less damage to them. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. I just don't, I don't feel like it's something I'm going to do. How did that miss you? Oh, great. I've contracted Whitbane. Well, I guess that means I'm going to have to drink a potion and get rid of Whitbane. Can I get my bolt back? I do. Thank you. I don't know about the other one, though. And even more ore here. Gold this time. Who's there? More gold. Oh, have a good one, Saint Salvius. Actually, I'm going to take a quick break. Hang on a sec.
Alrighty. Oh boy, excuse me. I'm seeing it all right, but I'm trying to find where all these different locations we have to go to, and it seems like the moment I get closer to one, I'm suddenly not closer. It is very weird. That is a chest. Northern arrows. Potion of water breathing. That all, every time I see a potion of water breathing, and I mean, it happens with other potions as well. But every time I see a potion of water breathing, I, I, I really start to wonder if that's a clue that, oh, particularly when you find it near a body of water, it's like, oh, you're going to need this. So who knows if we're going to need that or not. But we have it now in case we do. And that is Quicksilver. Quicksilver. Too slow like this. Let's get a move on. Uh, can I get up there? You're telling me I can't get up this tiny little. There we go. How about up this way? No. the way shrine of learning initiate are you prepared to honor the mantras of Ariel and fill your vessel with his enlightenment Ariel bless you child for you are a step closer and everlasting wisdom Um, no, we don't actually want to go back to there yet, don't think. Um, we've got these three to go. I feel like I should be heading to that western one, because that's the furthest away. But it's also inside something. So I feel like I've screwed up a little bit. Am I? Mm -hmm. Um. Because back where I started, it looks like there's another. There's another one back through that gap over there that might actually be closer now. We're further away now, closer previously. Um, so I might have to run back over to there. Actually, I could fast travel back to the gap. And sort of head northeast from there, maybe.
actually it's almost north. I don't know, the compass is all screwed up, but that should... It should be like northeast. But it seems like it's actually nearly north northwest. I'm always careful when I see trees like this in the game because that's a bear tree. It's a tree that a bear has uh, scratched at. What is this? Forgotten Vale Cave. It's not actually part of this quest line, but I'm wondering whether I should go in there or not. Doesn't uh, doesn't mark itself on the map either, which is a pain in the buttocks. Head up over this way, there should be the other temple not too far up this way. Feel? Or... to honor the mantras of Ariel and fill your vessel with his enlightenment. Then behold Ariel's gift, my child. May it speed your journey to the end of Okay, what have we got? Got that one there and that one there. They're both roughly in that direction.
Okay. I feel like I've yeah, we've got to go up because that's the only way to. Rest here, I feel. Do need to find a way over to there. I think that's the next one we have to go to. Either that or somewhere over that way. So, up here. Come on. You can do it. Why can you not do it? Okay, maybe we'll go this way then. I don't remember this thing. Are you... You are hostile. I don't really want them at all. Gold or silver, maybe. Malachite, yeah. I'll do without Malachite. Ooh. What do you unlock? Activate Paragon Socket. I have never done this before. Where is this going to lead? Portal to the Inner Sanctum. I don't know if this is a good idea or not. But... Maybe it is? It's just some treasure by the looks of it. Chests absolutely full of loot. Etc. Is that everything? It certainly appears like it. All right. Which way I'm supposed to go here if I... Oh no, there are stairs. Jolly good. That is how I know I am going in the right direction.
you've arrived at the Way Shrine of Resolution. Then go forth, child. May the enrichment of Ariel strengthen your resolve as you undertake your journey to the inner sanctuary. I wonder if there's any more of those paragons around. Because I've got a place to store all of those back at my house. So I wouldn't mind collecting the rest of them wherever they are. I see stairs over there. I was hoping that was another Paragon, but... No such luck. But there is other things over here on the map. Well, not on the map, but... down there in a sec. I want to see what this stuff over here is. Elven sword.
I want to go in there. where I was blocked off before. So, it feels like we've got to go back up. Just the one of them? Moonstone. Yeah, that one Moonstone. Not enough of that. One moment, everybody, while I get rid of this idiot again. Somehow we've got to head in that direction, and I'm not sure how. I suspect we have to go over this way, up and around. Not really seeing a lot of other choices. More Moonstone? Yeah, this place is just... Moonstone Central, I, which is not surprising, really, because it's obvious that this was once an area that... Uh, a lot of elves, at least the snow elves, lived in. And Moonstone is one of the ores that the elves use to make things. So, yeah, maybe that makes sense. Uh, this actually looks like a path up this way, so... Look.
cave we want to go in. But maybe I want to see what's up that trail first. Maybe we will sneak for a little bit after all. It's going to go down, but going up looks more interesting. This is zigzagged with little Alma nooks and crannies. So, Serana just fell off the edge. That's interesting. I'm sure she'll get back to me at some point. But... Not entirely sure how she will. I think she landed on that. Got my bolt. Thank you.
let's... I thought it was like a Falma, um... A gloom Lurker or whatever it is that wears the hoods. I'm sure there are more Falma to kill here. All over the place, but... I feel like I want to go back. To the... Location that we saw down below that we have to the cave we have to go to. Mostly just looking because I wanted to see if there's any more of those paragons. I know absolutely nothing about them. I don't know if they're only in this location or what the deal is, but... to the gloom lurker. Oh, he fell down. Oops. My long distance aim is off a little bit today. Really having a problem with it. a frost troll. I don't see any more of my bolts. Oh, there's one. And there's another. Most of my problem at the moment is I'm trying to lead quite a bit. Uh, well, not quite a bit, but I'm trying to lead on moving targets a lot lately, and that's why I'm missing as much as I am. A little annoying, but it is what it is. Um...
We don't remember how we get over here if that is broken like that. Oh, that path is viable. Don't mind me. Just double checking the back trail again. Not going to come back near the edge, are you? Not really seeing anything over there that looks like it's worthwhile trying to get over there if we don't have to. I feel like way forward is over this way. That's not the way forward. That's a death drop. We'll go this way. So, Kaylock, I'm assuming you're a glutton for punishment then, are you?
much for stealth. Gold, twelve gold. So But that's not legendary difficulty then. Because legendary difficulty is you only do a third damage. And everything else does like three times the damage. So it sounds like the mod you've got is basically just negating what legendary difficulty normally is. charged back up. Oh, 75% less to dragons. Right, I get you now. I, I thought you were talking about everything. having any luck at a distance today. Not a chest. the bet. A Fowler will jump out of that thing behind me when I'm halfway across the bridge. Okay. Maybe not. All the way across? No? Alright. I used to get one of my bolts back from those ridiculous misses earlier.
This is vaguely familiar. Nothing I want in there. That's a chest. of Falmer coming this way. That one? No. How did that miss? Multi level map, multi level labyrinth. That's what I was trying to say. can see me when they've got no eye. It's up above us. So, it feels like I might have gone the wrong way, because this feels like a dead end.
And it definitely is a dead end. Some quick silver. Something is bugged with the um, the paralysis buff that I get at a hundred in the the feet that I took because I'm missing these guys and they're still falling over. And that's what happened with him. I missed him, and yet he still fell over, and that is a little weird. We need to go that way. I want to check this area out. Oh, that's another giant. Okay, we can one shot a giant. you have another paragon. That was the other one I got sapphire, wasn't it? Yeah. Dead Chorus. Got all my bows. More quicksilver. It's like quite a lot of quicksilver to be honest. No sign of anything to use the Paragon in. Hoping it's up here somewhere, either at the next shrine or close to it. That looks more quicksilver, yep. Yeah. Okay. That's Quicksilver. Ooh. Oh no, it's just a mammoth. I'm lost. I don't know how I'm... I feel like I'm supposed to... Get up this way somewhere. Oh, yeah, I can get up here. Okay, no. We're doing good. We're all right. Nothing here. Around the back of that. Come along this way. I don't know if this is legitimately the way I'm supposed to go or not. And it feels 
a little bit precarious to think that I can go somewhere along that way. I don't know how to get up there. It's obvious that I have to. But there is no obvious path there. Unless it's over this way. Aha! Uh -huh. Come on. What did that say? Cannot go that way. Says you. I beg to differ. There's got to be a way. There's nothing here. And there's nothing there, so... Did I come all this way through that gap for nothing and now I've got to go back out and find a trail that actually... brings me the right way? Starting to feel like maybe I did. This doesn't... Doesn't lead up where we need to go. It's not like there's any other exits, cabins, anything like that. So, feels like we've been gypped. Yeah, I'll say. Why can't I... Why can't I get there? The annoying thing is, is that that pointed as the, the way I had to go out. Fill the initiate you are for. There is no... There's nowhere out there. So, I don't know what I'm supposed to do now. Don't know where the last... thing is. And the map's not being helpful. Because there is no map. I do feel like there was a couple of places in along the way where there was like I could have gone left or I could have gone right. Which one should I have done? Here, for example. 
Pretty sure I came from that way. Wasn't sure if he was alive or dead. So, this now feels like a dead end. to get somewhere I can shoot. This is just a little nook. remember some of this from early on. Because... Yeah, came in this way. And I didn't explore this at the time. And I thought, yeah, maybe I should have There ain't nothing on this. Ooh, there's a side tunnel over that way, though. Oh, hang on. That's where we came from. Silly me. That might have been a chest down there. 
But no. That's quite a current in here. Okay. Wait. I'm going to get out of here and then... You're back. Okay. Don't do that. Freaks me out. was a little dead end over there so that's fine we went this way and we avoided that trap I think we went that way last time this was This was where we came back in. And went looking. this stuff and this brings us down to the water okay uh, really lost now I don't know what to do you like uh, So, did we go this way? This was a dead end. That's that one. So... just going to take me back out to the same area which I know doesn't lead me to where I need to go so I feel like we've got to go all the way back out hang on a sec 
Hang on, hang on. Maybe if I come out here, I can fast track. Fast travel, I mean. No way over that way. So we've got to go. Out. And then from here. Even on the map. Oh, stupid me. We found that glacial crevice. We probably have to go through that. Where was that? Oh, wrong way. No, that, that was where we came out. Wasn't there another... No, that was out in the complete other area. Uh, yeah, there is absolutely no path here. So, travel back to the Forgotten Vale. There's going to be absolutely no chance there. We found... A little dungeon... Cavern or something somewhere, didn't we? Which is not marked on the map. Right there. back here and let me shoot you. Thank you.
Hang on. Who's there? Close the way behind us. Yeah. What the hell is that thing? There's nothing really in here except for that thing. There's no other way out. Does it say what this thing is? No. And it seems to be impervious. So as long as it doesn't wake up, we're fine. Well, if that's the case, is there anything... No, that... That's it in this cave. Doesn't look like... There was anything else. Get that chest? I did. I didn't want this, the gauntlets. We killed the guys in there. Okay, we go back out again. That's not our way through to the last of the locations. So somehow we need to get up there, but that... That does not lead to where we need to be. I'm wondering if it expects us to have killed a dragon to be able to proceed. Silver all. This must be that beautiful Skyrim weather I've always heard about.
I'm no fan of the sun. What would be better than this? All right. I had to do a bit of research here. So, if I can find one of the shrines again, that would be good. So, apparently, I have to go north from the way showing a resolution. Before and before entering the glacial crevice, I need to get a book from the small Falmer hut. Right, okay, so. We were at the shrine up this way. Let's head to that, see which one it is. And if we need to, we'll use the shrine to teleport to the one we need. Because, yeah, I know I'm lost. Is this resolution or is this a different one? How do I tell? This is resolution. Okay, so north from here. What's over this way? This is, I don't think this is where I need to be going. There. I knew I heard. 
really starting to get bogged down with stuff. Uh, this feels like a dead end. dead drop I ever search him obviously didn't Guess we'll quickly go in there. Very dark in this cave. Hope if they're going to be chorus or co cocoons, we're going to have time to see them before they here. That's not an ore. Okay. Go down there in a minute. No, nothing around here. All right.
be hearing chorus out there, but I just don't know where they are. Oh, there he is. And there. Check. No, absolutely nothing. Ooh, this has another exit. Where is this going to take us to? Excuse me. Okay, I'm severely lost. Like, seriously lost. I don't feel like there's anything else I can really do from around here. No. Let's just quickly go back through this cave, back to where we were. Down this way, Go up this way, watch out. Right. 
That was just a little... We'll leave him alone this time. Okay, so we have come this far before. Sort of in the other direction pretty sure we got that chest already yeah killed it of these guys is there Why does it say Sharp Slope Cave? Is where I need to go to build the Ewa. Because, to my knowledge, it isn't anywhere near there. Did I go up here last time? Don't think I did. Ebony shield and congratulations. I'm carrying too much. Um, I actually need to get to somewhere. How about I get you to carry some stuff? Better not be all the things you just can't be bothered with. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> a whole bunch of stars. Okay. Uh, down here.
Hang on, I think we've got to go down this way. That's what we were looking for, the unknown book. Unknown book volume one. Yeah, can't read any of that. Unknown, no. Book volume three. Is that really what we need? Unknown book volume three. Okay, it said that's what I needed to get. being a pain. So that was as far as we can go that way. Okay. Uh, we are, st I'm still trying to do the uh, touching the sky. We've got to find the last initiate ewer. Uh, to get Oriel's bow. I really am struggling here to find my way through this. It's not really a maze, but it feels like it feels like there's something not quite right. Uh, now, I've had to have a look on the wiki, and it looks like there is a couple of books that I need to have access to. That might be what was blocking me from moving forward. So I think I've got two of them now and there's at least one or two more that I have to find. I just feel like I'm going in circles because I've been in this area for ages now and haven't really progressed.
That way down doesn't take you anywhere. It's this way here to get out. Okay, so, back in this area now. Let's make sure we search all of these properly. There's, I think there's supposed to be another book. in the second village before the way shrine i don't know no. where the way shrine is but if he's talking down this end apparently there's a book the third book is in one of these villages. Let's have a look. Can't even get into that one. Can you? No, you cannot. Oh, and now I'm kind of stuck. There we go. Oh. Nothing in that one. Quicksilver or belts. Quicksilver or and gems. Talks about a tunnel consisting of several quicksilver ore veins found on the canyon floor at the very end of the Falma village. I would have thought that's what this was. Uh, I don't know what's going on. There is another book I've got to find, though. So, let me just triple check this village here, because I don't think I've done everything in here. I've gone into that one. We fell, accidentally fell down. I've been in this one. 
there was nothing here. I tried to go in this one. There's no entrances. So this one has a, just a chest with an iron dagger in it. I don't see any other bookie type things. This one has a table, no books. And down here. This is where I was before. So let's go back up this way. I'm... Ah! This is the part we hadn't been to! This is what is missing. The second part of the village that we didn't get to because we didn't bother climbing up here last time. All right. Beehive husk. Here's the other book. All good. We've got the book pieces. We'll take all of that. That's good. What else have we got to search around here? Here is... This is what we needed. Alright, let's ignore the rest of that. It's through here. Finally. At least I'm assuming it's through here. What is that? It's just a little platform to stand on. Very weird. Yeah, Quicksilver ore. Silver ore. This is probably going to take us all the way. Uh, It's your fault, Serana. You're the one who tripped that trap. I jumped over it. This is probably going to take us all the way up to that uh, bridge that we saw over the chasm. By the looks of it. Another one. That's two today. Report.
All right, sorry about that. All fixed. Yeah, I thought you might grab one of the staves after I gave them to you. Sort of surprised there's not, like, Balma just pouring out of these. You found the Way Shrine of Raid. Are you prepared to honor the mantra? May the blessings of Ariel protect you as you climb the road to the inner sanctum. They're going to give us a path to go all the way up here. We've got to at least see what it's got. Bunch of big potions. Some alchemy stuff. And a long drop down. Okay, if I remember rightly, these guys all come to life at various points. Maybe not all of them. Can I get Beautiful. That's what I needed.
I don't know why you're saying that. You're not really doing much to help. Another paragon. Don't have the required item to activate that. Hmm. Let's see her make her way out of that. Where did you come from? Well, I haven't found the what I was assuming would lead us into some of these other areas yet. Pretty sure I remember Hmm. I don't think I want to go that way yet. I know where it is now. But, um, pretty sure I remember there being like a little side cave. Circle of water breathing. Hey, getting rather hammered here. 
Uh, oh, extreme healing. And maybe another extreme healing. And maybe a um, vegetable soup to help with regen. I don't know, I feel pretty positive. Look, I remember there being... I remember most of these guys coming awake at some point. I also remember there being a... Look, I remember that frost giant, but I thought there was a like a side cave that was just... Had like, you know, two or three of the frost giants in it. Um, I guess we've searched everything out here now. I actually expected more of these guys to come awake and attack. Talking about me? Which, I'm sorry to say, means your usefulness is at an end. Oh. Oops, that's her. Needs a recharge quite. Uh, quickly. So I was going to say, 
I'm expecting the rest of these guys to wake up any second now. Do, 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 do. Lots of magic, lots of healing needed. Uh, let's do a resist fire, a resist magic. Oh, true shot. Anything else that can help us? That'll do for now. Maybe a resist cold as well. Yes, come on. No, I won't centuries of preparation. Come on, Matt. Come on, we can do this. I know we can. He's up there on the balcony. Come on. And let me get my bow out. Because we've got to talk to him first, because he's a vampire and he wants to go and complain. Boo hoo hoo. Give us the bow. How dare you! I was the arch curate of Ariel, girl. I had the ears of a god. Until the betrayed corrupted you. Yes, yes, we've heard this sad story. Gelibor and his kind are easily manipulated fools. Look into my eyes, Serana. You tell me what I am. You... You're a vampire? But Ariel should have protected you. The moment I was in by one of my own initiates, Ariel turned his back on me. I swore I'd have my revenge, no matter what the cost. You want to take revenge on a god? Ariel himself may have been beyond my reach, but his influence on our world wasn't. All I needed was the blood of a vampire and his own weapon. Ariel's bow. The blood of a vampire. Ariel's bow. It was you? You created that prophecy? A prophecy that lacked a single final ingredient. The blood of a pure vampire. The blood of a daughter of Cold Harbor. You were waiting all this time for someone with my blood to come along. Well, too bad for you. I intend on keeping it. Let's see if your blood has any power to it. Where'd you come from? Two shots. Was all it took. What have we got? Ancient Falna Cuirass, Light Armour. So the deed has been done. The restoration of this way shrine means that Bertha must be dead and the betrayed no longer have control over him. What? What are you talking about? <laughs> A vampire. I see. Uh, that would explain much. Deep inside 
It brings me joy that the betrayed weren't to blame for what happened here. Because that means there's still hope that they might one day shed their hatred and learn to believe in Oriel once again. It's been a long time since I felt that way, and it's been long overdue. My thanks to both of you. You risked everything to get Oriel's bow, and in turn, you restored the Chantry. I can't think of a more deserving champion to carry it than you. If you wish to learn more about the bow, or obtain some hallowed arrows for it, I'd be more than happy to help. You've but to ask. Yoink. It's not as shiny as I was expecting. Still, it's beautiful. I think we both know. It's time to face my father. If we don't, he'll keep chasing us for the rest of our lives. I've been thinking about this for a long time. It's... It's not easy. But I don't think we have much of a choice. No. This has to end here and now. If we head back to the castle and kick the front door in, we're going to be knee-deep in his friends. So Let's head back to Isran and let him see what we've got first. I'm betting he'll lend us a sword or two. That's fine. But, first of all, we're going back to Mirwatch. we got a lot of stuff to sell which we're not going to do yet we're going to just put it all in the bookcase for now uh, keeping that, keeping that I'm probably going to come back and um, in, ch in um upgrade a bunch of this stuff before I sell it keep that I don't really have a, a stand to put it on but that's fine I'm not sure if I've got that enchantment or that one So many potions. Lots of scrolls. Uh, keep the void salts, of course.
Right, let's just see. I, I'm positive I've got some... We don't have Oriole's shield. We do have Oriole's bow. Oh, the initiate's ewer. I just went and chucked that in the cell chest. Let's grab that back. Where are you, initiate? You were. Very nice. Uh, I don't have any of that yet. No, don't have any of that stuff. We don't have any of that. Don't have any more of that. What was that? That was just a weapon plaque. Okay. I need to trade some things with you. We don't have any of those. Uh, that's not any named stuff. Either is that. And we don't have any of those. Fine. Um... Sure. I'm not going to put it on display, but keep that. Let's double check if we've got anything to disenchant. Really? I hadn't had vanishing in the circlet of water breathing. Okay. Interesting. Um, we have a bunch of ores to put away. carrying oh all the stuff i just got from no i didn't want that uh i'm actually surprised that there's nowhere to put angie's bow uh i'm gonna just have to chuck it up here there we go it's not that great a weapon so it's not that surprising i suppose Go and chuck all of this downstairs. Alright everybody, I think I'm going to leave that here, that was a good, um, I mean it took longer than I would like to get through that, but we've got it all now, it's doing good, um, do we still have Oriole's, no we put Oriole's bow up, that's right, of course we don't have it on us, um, next episode, kill Harkin, definitely, and if we've done that, and we still have time, it'll be the start of the main quest line. So I hope you will join me for that in the next episode.
Thank you, everybody, and have a good one.